Hello, and welcome to NEO Pools How-To Guide section. If you are seeing significant bubbles coming out of your return lines into the pool, you probably have an air leak in your filtration system. Possible sources of this problem are low pool water levels, leaks around the strainer lid, leaks in the unions, or leaks in the pump seals. For optimum pool pump operation, the source of the leak must be identified and corrected. Your swimming pool filtration system has two sections, the suction side from the pool to the pump and the discharge side from the pump to the pool. Check the strainer pot of your pump. If you see significant air bubbles moving through the strainer pot, you know that the air leak is somewhere on the suction side of the system plumbing before or at the pump. Go over to the pool and check the water level. Ideally, the pool water level should be at least halfway up the skimmer intake. If the water level is below this level, the skimmer is probably sucking air into the skimmer pipe to the pump. This is a simple problem to resolve. Simply fill the pool to the halfway point of the skimmer. If the pool water level is adequate, your next step is to check the strainer lip on the pump. If it is not on tight, you may be sucking air through the lid. To check the lid, first, turn off the power to the pump at the breaker box. Take off the pool pump strainer lid. These are generally screwed on or secured with toggle bolts. Pull the O-ring out of its groove. Clean out any debris that may be in the groove. Check the O-ring for cracks or wear. Sometimes an older O-ring is stretched so that it bulges when you try to replace it in its groove. This is a common source of leaks. When you screw on the lid, the O-ring will bulge out and create a leak. Replace a worn or stretched O-ring. Also, it's a good idea to lubricate the O-ring lightly before replacing the lid. Use a good pool seal lubricant. Do not use petroleum jelly. If your pool pump strainer lid was not the problem, check the union commonly inserted before the pump. Again, make sure that power to the pool pump is turned off before unscrewing the union. After separating the union, you should see an O-ring in the groove of the union. As above, check that this O-ring is not worn or cracked and that it is seated correctly in a clean groove lubricating the O-ring. Retape the threads of the union with two or three layers of Teflon tape and reconnect the union. Hand tighten the union. If these steps have not corrected your air bubbles and you have an older pull pump, you may have a leak in the motor shaft seal. This shows the location of the motor shaft seal in a Hayward pump. For instructions on replacing a motor shaft seal, go to the How to Replace a Motor Shaft Seal video. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to call us toll free at 1 877 372 6038 or visit us online at www.annualpools.com.